This is a video review and unboxing of the TronSmart Quick Charge 2.0 8 watt USB wall charger. Now we'll go ahead and take it out of the box here and see what's inside. Got the TronSmart logo on the cardboard here. If we open it up, we've got the user manual. This just explains the you know, Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 versus 1.0 in conventional charging and just a whole bunch of liability stuff in different languages. And inside the box here, we've got the charger itself. And uh, it's got one port on the top here, where it also says Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0. And there is no swivel on this, but we'll get back to that later. All right, I'm gonna put this aside for the moment. And under the rest of this cardboard is the six foot USB cable, which yeah, it's a pretty long cable considering uh, most chargers actually don't come with a cable. Uh, I bought an Anchor one a couple weeks ago, and uh, it just came with the charger itself. So this is a nice addition. All right, now let's take a quicker or a closer look at the charger itself. Um, so this is an 18 watt adaptive port charger that switches between 12 volts at 1.5 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, and 5 volts at 2 amps. But it'll automatically choose the rate. Um, assuming your device is compatible with Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0. Um, and even devices that aren't compatible, it'll still charge pretty quickly. Um, I actually charge my iPhone with this too, and it seems to charge pretty fast. Then again, I'm you know, not too sure how long it would normally take for an iPhone to charge. Um, now, what we said earlier is there's no swivel on this uh, plug here. So if you've got like an awkward power outlet or uh, wall jack, it might be kind of tough to plug this in if you've got, you know, a whole bunch of ports side by side, since this does take up a little bit of space on the left and right sides here. But if you've got your regular, you know, two port, it'll pop in just fine without blocking this lower one. Um, also, one big thing that made me purchase this over the past couple charges I've bought is this website called Fakespot. Uh, dot com actually runs like a little analysis in all the reviews and it'll decide if their views are purchased fake you know the ones that where people exchange them for you know free products to give five star reviews and all that and it'll analyze all that and then give you an overall opinion and this actually rated a 16.7 percent low quality rating which means that only 16.7 percent of the reviews uh, which at this time there were 383 were actually low quality, you know, purchased, you know, kind of biased, because you know, there's always inherent bias when you're reviewing a free product. This I paid for myself. I actually bought four of them just because I didn't have any other Qualcomm quick chargers and I lost the one that came with my S6. So overall, the build quality seems pretty nice. Uh, the last one I had was an anchor and it had a little swivel like where the uh, plug would actually fold back in, but I dropped it once and it ended up breaking one of these prongs. Um, this overall feels like pretty sturdy plastic. Um, I don't see anything issues, or I don't see any issues with, uh, this plug here getting broken. You know, maybe if you dropped it at the wrong angle, but in most cases, this seems like it would hold up pretty well. Um, uh, overall, this appears to be a pretty solid choice for a Qualcomm quick charger, and, uh, works great with my S6, and, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend it.